Welcome to another edition of Avery Dennison Reflective Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to talk about some simple application tips when applying reflective tape. Step one is simply removing the liner off the tape itself. You'll see every roll ships with this green tape on the outside. Take it off and save it. The easy trick is to take that tape, stick it on the back side of the liner, and peel back. And you'll see the liner comes away really easily. If you don't want to use the tape, your other option is to use the pad of your thumb. So instead of using the nail, which is really dependent on if you have nails, just try using the pad because the texture of your finger will also help to start the tape. Next, we're going to walk through some tips during the application process itself. So I'm going to go ahead and start my tape. And using my squeegee, you'll notice I'm using a squeegee with a felt edge. You can also use a, a low friction sleeve, but you never want to use a raw squeegee because it can scratch or mar the surface. You'll notice as I start laying down the tape, I'm pulling the squeegee across and not pushing it. When you pull, you've got a, a better chance of pushing out any entrapped air, but when you push, the squeegee has a tendency to bounce, which can create air bubbles and such. So once I've got my tape started, you want to go ahead and start pulling back the liner. And you'll see I'm pulling it back at a, a pretty low angle, pretty close to parallel. The, the closer to parallel I pull the tape, the less chance I have of liner tearing. If I start just pulling the tape straight down, you're putting a lot of stress on those edges where you're now increasing your chance of that liner tearing. So you always want to pull back as close to parallel as you can. If during the application you happen to get you know, askew or out of straight, you can simply reposition. And you want to do this within a couple minutes of application before the adhesive has, has a chance to start to build. But simply pull back at a low angle, you know, less than 45 degrees, reposition your tape, and lay it back down. And this just helps to minimize the waste in your process so you don't have scrap due to misaligned tape. You can reposition and lay it back down without any losses. For more information on our products and videos like these, please visit reflectives.averydenison.com.